Hi guys, how is the weather today? Hmm, it's a bit cold here. Oh, we have a guest at our place today. Let's ask him about the weather at his home. Hello, Bear. How's the weather at your home? He is saying something. He is pointing to the calendar of the whole year. Hmm, it looks like he is playing charades with me. I think I can tell what our friend Polar Bear is saying. Hi there. Hmm, he is pointing towards the calendar of the whole year and doing the acting of shivering like we shiver in the winter. Oh, that means there is winter at his home for the whole year. Yes, polar bears live in the polar regions and it is cold there throughout the year. But why? We have summer, spring, and many other seasons here, but the polar regions only have winters. Why is that? For that, you need to understand about the different climate zones of the Earth. Okay, let's ask our friend Polar Bear to learn about climate zones. Hmm, I can't see him. Can you see him? Oh, he is sleeping like always. Let's leave him here. Yes, before we start learning about climate zones, first tell me the difference between weather and climate. I know that the climate of a place is its weather over a long period of time. Yes, the weather changes from day to day and even from one hour to another. It can be sunny and hot in the morning and cold and wet in the evening. Weather reflects the short-term conditions of the atmosphere, while the climate is the average daily weather for an extended period of time at a certain place. Now let's learn about the causes of different kinds of climate in different parts of the world. Look at this! Oh, it's a globe! Why are there different colors in different parts of the globe? The colors on the globe represent the average temperature of those places. Hmm, that means the places near the equator have a very high temperature. Yes, the temperature over there is in the range of 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is less than minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit in the polar regions. Yes, look at this picture of the globe. We can divide the whole of our Earth into three heat zones based on the climate. Hmm, I can see that. The area near the poles is known as the polar region, and the areas near the equator are known as the torrid regions. Correct. And areas between torrid and polar zones are known as temperate zones. Can you tell me more about these zones? Okay, let me take you through each of these zones one by one. You know that the equator is an imaginary line on the globe that divides the Earth into two halves. Like we learned before, there are three major climate zones. The polar zone, the temperate zone, and the torrid zone. Let's first look at the torrid zone. This is in the area around the equator. It lies between two imaginary lines, which are the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. In this zone, the temperature is very high as the rays of the sun directly fall on this area. Wow, can you tell me more about this zone? Yes, all the major deserts are present in this zone. And yes, it's not all about the deserts, a lot of rain happens here also. I know. This is because the high temperatures near the equator cause faster evaporation of water. You're a genius! Higher temperatures result in higher amount of evaporation of water from the Earth's surface, which causes a lot of rain. Okay, now let's move on to the temperate zone. There are two temperate zones one in Northern Hemisphere and one in Southern Hemisphere. It is the largest among all climate zones, 
the weather over here is moderate as the sun rays do not directly fall in the temperate zone. Moderate means it's neither very cold nor very hot. Yes, and in a few of these areas, there is year-round rainfall. Oh, now our friend the polar bear wants to see his home, the polar zone. This zone is known as the polar zone as it lies close to the poles. There are two polar zones, one near the North Pole, above the Arctic Circle, and another one surrounding the South Pole. It is above the Antarctic Circle. And like our guest, the polar bear told us, it is very cold over here throughout the year. Yes, this is because near the polar regions, the rays of sun are very slanted. I have a question. Yes? How do sun rays affect the weather? You mentioned something about direct sun rays and slanted sun rays. I'm confused. That is a very good question. Sun rays play a very important role in the climate of any place. You know that our Earth is spherical in shape, right? Yes. Look here. The region near the equator gets more direct rays of sun. The direct rays are concentrated over a smaller area, and so they heat up the Earth more. As we go away from the equator, the sun's rays strike the Earth's surface at an angle. The slanting rays spread over a larger area, and so they don't heat to the same extent as direct rays. Oh, that's why the temperature decreases as we go away from the equator. Let us see it once again to understand it more. Oh, it is very clear in this picture. Areas covered by the rays falling directly is smaller than the area covered by the slanting rays. Yeah, that is why areas near the equator get more heat, but areas near the poles get lesser heat, as the same amount of heat is spread over large geography. Hmm, now I understand. Is there anything else that affects the climate of the area? For that, you need to answer a question. Look here. See that blue part? Why is the temperature here lesser than the surrounding areas? Oh, it is very strange. This area is near the equator, but still the temperature is very low. Now look at this picture. What do you see in the red color? Oh, these are Himalayas. Yeah, the place showing lesser temperature in the first picture are the Himalayan mountains. Hmm, now I understand. The higher you go, the colder it is. As we move up, temperature keeps going down. So elevation of a place also affects the climate of a place. Yeah, direction of sun rays and elevation are two important factors that affect the climate of a place. Are there any other factors? Yeah, there are many, like ocean currents, terrain, etc, etc. But we will study about them in next grade. Bye, friends! Our guest, the polar bear, has gone to sleep again. Bye, and please press the like button. Hi, do you want to see more videos? Hmm, here are many videos. You can click on any one of them. You can click on them and watch them.